logical. Flawlessly logical. Okay, it's time for week or module two in the course. Last week, we got things started. Uh, I was glad to see everybody get on board and be involved. Very interesting to read about people's background. Thought it was fascinating to see how many places people live, where we're all coming from, different callings people have, different lines of work. It ought to make for uh, even all the more fascinating interactions when we get down to discussing things. Well, this week, as you will see, you go into course content, go into module uh, week two. Uh, we're talking about logic. Don't let that scare you, by the way. Logic is something that everybody does, like it or not, whether we do it well or not. Uh, some people, you can also call this reason or reasoning. Uh, it's part of just the very basic critical thinking that we do. It's the way ideas or truths or facts or statements, it's the way they relate to each other, the way that they connect or cohere. Every time somebody says it, you know, it's either this or it's that, they're doing a little bit of logic. Or if they give you an if-then statement, well, if this, then that, they're doing it. So we're doing it all the time. Anyone who thinks he's not ever using logic is probably using it poorly. So this week you'll understand uh, the basic, just the skeletal structure of the way our ideas connect, the very basics of logic, analyzing an argument, and looking at sort of uh, the ways we commit errors or fallacies. It's like a foul, you know, in a football game. You throw the flag and somebody did something wrong. Make sure, by the way, uh, underneath the reading and study under additional materials, once again, to watch the brief presentation that Dr. Foreman gives us where he gives his own introduction of these and sort of tells you where this week is going, what it's going to be about. And I think I think you, if you just give it the time and read carefully and think it through, you'll find this very useful in everyday life. S starting with your own thinking, it'll sort of challenge you about how you think and sort of how you do critical uh, reasoning. And then, of course, it will, it will apply to the way you read news articles, the way you listen to other people talk about things. Uh, if you don't watch out, it can make you sort of that annoying guy who constantly points out the way that people's arguments have gone off the rails. That's sort of something else. So that's a different matter. We have to learn how to uh, do that graciously. So we'll get it underway. As the course chart indicates this time around for this particular week, quiz two not unlike quiz one, is the primary thing uh, that you will do this week. So I will leave you to it. As is always the case every week, contact me if you need me. Short of that, I hope you make it a great one. Bye-bye. Spock, remind me to tell you that I'm sick and tired of your logic. That is the most illogical attitude.